Welcome to AVR Microcontroller Lecture Series. In this video, I'll be going to explain you introduction to AVR and to have this session, these are my session outlines. First, I'll explain introduction to AVR family. After that, we will see AVR family classifications and then I'll explain you simplified view of an AVR microcontroller where we will see basic block diagram of AVR microcontroller and at last I'll explain you different companies which is producing 8-bit microcontrollers. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is introduction to AVR family. So when we talk about AVR it is developed by Atmel Corporation in 1996 and in 2016 it is acquired by microchip technology so mainly it was developed by atmel corporation in 1996 right now it is there with microchip technology and that was acquired in 2016 if you see the full form of avr then its full form is advanced virtual risk and based on their inventor its full form is also well known as ALF and Vega risk. So both of this full form are popular with AVR family. AVR is an 8-bit risk based single chip microprocessor with hardware architecture. So you will be finding it is of 8-bit, it is deployed with risk architecture on a single chip and it is based on hardware architecture. I'll show you its basic block diagram at last in this video. It has code ROM, data ROM, RAM, input output and timers in a single chip and by using this we can have interfacing of many peripherals with AVR microcontroller. It supports many interfaces like CAN, I2C, SPI, USB and USART. So many serial interfaces can be interfaced with AVR microcontroller as it supports all those protocols which I have listed over here and application specific microcontrollers are also available. So I will show you in AVR family what are the microcontrollers which is there with application specific microcontroller for serial interface. So let us talk about AVR family classification. So there are four family members which is there with AVR family. First is Tiny and in Tiny 80 Tiny 13, 80 Tiny 25, 80 Tiny 44, 80 Tiny 84. So that is how different microcontrollers are available. Second family member is Mega. And with Mega, 80 Mega 8, 80 Mega 16, 80 Mega 32, 80 Mega 64, 80 Mega 1280. So that is how different ICs are available with Mega member. Third is special purpose. And in special purpose, 8090 CAN 128, 8090 PWM 216. 8090 USB to 1287 that is how different ICs are available and these are special purpose ICs where this first one 8090 CAN 128 is specially de designed for serial communication with CAN protocol. The second one 8090 PWM 216 that is specially designed for pulse with modulation serial communication. And this third one with 8090 USB 1287 that is used for serial communication with USB protocol. So these are special purpose ICs. And for this there with classic and in that there are different microcontrollers available like 8090S2313, 8090S2323, 8090S4433. In this video lecture series, you will be finding, I will be going to explain you at Mega32. 
So complete detailed understanding that you will be finding in this video lecture series regarding at omega 32. Let us see the basic details of some members of mega AVR family as I have listed with at mega 8, at mega 16 and at mega 32. I would like to show you some specifications where you can see with at mega 8 last digit that explains code ROM. So you see with at mega 8, 8k code ROM is there. With at mega 16, 16k code ROM is there. With at mega 32, 32k code ROM is there. And you can see data RAM that I have listed here and data EEPROM that even I have listed here. To remember size of data RAM and data EEPROM, one can say data EEPROM is half of data RAM. So if you remember EEPROM, you can easily remember RAM, right? You can see with 8 mega 8, data RAM is 1K and data EEPROM is half K. Likewise for at mega 16, data RAM is 1K and data EEPROM is half K. And with at mega 32, data RAM is 2K and data EEPROM is 1K. You will be finding input output pins with at mega 8 it is 23, with at mega 16 it is 32 and with at mega 32 it is 32. Analog to digital conversion that is also available you can see and timers are also there. When we talk about pin numbers and packaging then at mega 8 that is available with thin quad flat package with 32 and plastic dual in line package with 28 number of pins while you will be finding with at mega 16 thin quad flat package with 44 number of pins and plastic dual in line package 40 pins are there with two different packages and at mega 32 that is also there with thin quad flat package 44 pin and plastic dual in line package with 40 pins available in the market. So that is how mega AVR family is described here with their different basic specifications. In this video lecture series we will be focusing on at mega 32. So let us see the basic simplified view of AVR microcontroller and this simplified view that is mainly associated with at mega 32. So here we have a CPU and CPU is connected with crystal oscillator to provide crystal oscillation with fixed frequency of operation. So that justifies your timing cycle. And this CPU that is connected with program ROM and this program ROM that is of size of 32K and when you interface this program ROM with CPU you will be finding there are 16 data lines and 32K memory that we interface it with address line as per 2 to the power 15 means 15 address lines are required. Here we have a RAM which we interface it with CPU as a data RAM, as a data memory, then erasable, electrical erasable programmable ROM that is also a data memory which we interface it with CPU. There are timers, interrupt unit, ports and other peripherals that we interface it with CPU. So this is what the portion which is there with data memory and this is what the portion which is there with code memory that one can say. Now you see CPU that is what we are connecting it with RAM, ROM, timers as you can see it in this figure, right. And this program ROM that is interface it for code memory and whatever program that we are loading it in this program ROM that will get executed with respect to clock cycle and as I have said there are two byte instructions earlier in this playlist. So 95% of instructions can get executed in a single clock cycle as per this crystal oscillator. 
and these are data memory right so this is all about simplified view of microcontroller let us see the some companies which produce widely used 8 bit microcontrollers so here atmel that is producing avr and 8051 architecture microchip that is providing architecture of pic microcontroller intel was producing 8051 microcontroller philips and signetic produces 8051 microcontroller zilong is providing z8 and z80 microcontroller dallas semiconductor and maxim is producing 8051 microcontroller and freescale semiconductor is producing 68 hc11 and hcs08 microcontroller if you see most of the companies were fabricating 8051 microcontroller but that fabrication of 8051 that was initiated by intel and because of huge demand in the market other companies have followed that architecture of 8051 so one can say the origin of 8051 fabrication that have initiated by intel and after that many companies have followed that so this is how different companies were producing 8 bit microcontrollers i hope you have understood this video please do give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions are motivating me and based on that in future i'll be making videos which will be solving your queries so please do give your valuable suggestions thank you so much for watching this video